When we think about chanting in yoga, most parts think about the standard Om, but did you understand their sphere greater famous mantra than that? Om Mane Padme Hum is one of the maximum generally chanted mantra in yoga. This special Sanskrit chant is stated on Om Mane Padme Hum. It consists of four words that are frequently represented on Tibetan prayer flags. It is an ancient Buddhist mantra that in English actually translates to praise to the jewels in the lotus. This mantra is thought to connect you together with your innately loving and compassionate nature. In Northern India, Nepal and Tibet, Omane Patmihu is frequently etched into stone or engraved on earnings. It is assumed that even observing often this mantra can bring out the same benevolent outcome you would get hold of through chanting them. Prayer wheels additionally have this mantra edge on them are utilized by Buddhist practitioners. As they meditate or chant the mantra, they span the wheel or get hold of its many advantages. Om Mani Padme Hu is often called the Mani Mantra for Kui. The Dalai Lama believes this mantra can rework your impure body, speech and mind into the natural body, speech and mind of a Buddha. Similarly, Tibetan lifestyles tell us that this priest can carry enlightened man, but there are numerous interpretations on that every syllable honestly method. Generally speaking, each syllable represents one in all six dreams inside the Buddhist philosophical existence. This desire assists to heal and purify, bring forth nice characteristics. Om, the vibrations or sound of the universe, this syllable is thought to be the primordial sound of all the introductions. As the universe was created with the Om, it holds within the all that is torn into. And ever can be, Buddhist thoughts the sound vibration of Om can cleanse away fright and ego wills representing divine energy and generosity. Om lives within the samsaric realms of gods. Ma represents ethics and purified jealousy. Ma is associated with the disloving jealousy and attachment to floating pleasure. Its life within the samsaric realms of jealous god. Reciting Ma can assist losing our jealous attachment while cultivating more moral behavior. Ni represents fashions and purify want or desire. This syllable is assumed to dissolve attachment to preference and passion. It cultivates our ability to fashion with others and with ourselves. It is living with the samsaric realms of human beings to gather money, matters, joy. Path represents diligence and purify ignorance and judgment. Pet is a syllable that dissolves attachment to the various prejudices and judgmental notions we maintain directly to. It cultivates our exceptionals of preservations and lives within the sunseric realms of animals. Me represents concentrations and purify attachment. Me dissolves our attachment to beings possessive. It cultivates our power of concentrations and is living in some sick realm of hungry ghosts. Together, Padma, Manor, Lotus and represents knowledge. Who, the unity of all this very last syllable represents awareness and purify hatred. It dissolves our attachment to aggregations and hatreds even as cultivating our one innate know-how. It is said to lie inside the samsaric realm of hell. This also suggests that which can be disturbed. It is unshakable and unmovable. 